Here we go. Next section. Uh, as you know, we got a little, um, I got a little antsy when I was doing the dates. And for this next program, the doubling link list program, I didn't consult my calendar when I put it up and made a due date. So quite a few of you have already worked on this. And um, my apologies to that. You can still make changes. I think I have the due date set for next week. But um, going to the NIOF book, chapter 11, we're going to take a look today at doubly linked list. Something that's not totally important, but something that does exist. And the reason we're talking about it is we want to get a good base because right now, you have an idea of using linked list, and everything we do has been horizontal, all right? And when I take a look at doubly linked list, um, you notice I can go two directions, and again, we're still thinking horizontally. But in Thursday's class, we're gonna take this concept of a node with two pointers coming out of it, and we're actually gonna take a look at a tree, it's called a binary tree, where I can go down a left branch, or a right branch to another node. And you're gonna see how that all builds. So the timing of why we cover this now continues to make a logical progression. So as I go through this course, I'm thinking, I could probably come up with the order for a textbook that would be more beneficial for this course and more logical than, than what we see um, either out of one book or the other. But some of you have already started working with linked lists, and you got the idea that each new node is going to contain data. And again, that could be an ink, that could be a struct, that could be anything inside of there. And this time we have two pointers coming out. In fact, in maybe a month from now, we may be having multiple pieces of data in here and multiple pointers coming out. And we're going to see how that works and how that could be beneficial. But for today, our next stepping stone to get ready for Thursday is to go back and take a look at this doubly linked list. Okay, so some things we have going on with the doubly linked list, and a lot of you have some good ideas on what you did in your program, but I may have something that looks like this, where I have a pointer to first, um, might be beneficial to have a pointer to last, might not be. You know, that's some things to discuss about. You know, say I want to jump to the end and traverse in reverse. Having those extra pointers is going to allow me to go back. My first node, do I want it to point to null? My last node, do I want it to point to null? What are some other options? Well, for the whole thing, another option would be, let's just keep first. We don't need last. We could still traverse through. But what do we lose? We lose the benefit of going in reverse. Okay, so maybe two of them are good. What if my first was actually here in the middle? I mean, I can get away with just having one pointer and going to the right or going to the left. Depends on the situation you want. But once you have this basic concept of a doubly linked list of multiple pointers inside of a node, you can do whatever you want. What about here at the end? What if instead of this null, I had this point to, it has the value of first. Just like what if I, instead of this null, I had it go around and point to last. And again, it would depend on what situation it is that you want to solve. And you could adjust the class to be whatever you want. So if we take a look at the class, the first function that we may need to take a look at would be one in fact called insert. Now, a lot of times you'll see this represented horizontally. Sometimes you'll, or yeah, horizontally. Sometimes you'll see these written vertically. So that this one points back, this one points forward. Six of one, half a dozen of another. Just showing you two options. But if I had a doubly linked list set up right now, and I said, okay, I want to take care of the function insert. Now, where would I insert it? Do I start at the front automatically? Would I maybe check the last to see if it goes at the end right away? 
because if it's greater than last, I stick it at the end and I'm done kind of deal. So lots of different ways to write insert, but I think we're going to keep uh, the same thought process we had with a regular linked list. And what if I wanted to insert in the beginning? That would be the first element. And I think you have a little bit of an idea of what to do with first. That would be one of these where um, my new node would get the value, new node's pointer would get the value of first, first would get the value of new node. So that one's kind of easy. But what if I wanted to stick something in the middle? Okay, between 17 and 22. How many pointers would need to be changed? Anybody? Two. Conrad says two. Yeah, I'm, I'm agreeing with two. You're agreeing with two. Okay. Anybody want to just disagree and pick another number that rhymes with door? Oh, it'd be four if you include the pointers. On yeah, yeah. So all of a sudden, if I'm taking a look at this and I'm thinking I want to insert 20, I'm going to have to actually have four different pointers. Ooh, would order matter? Yeah, because I could be deleting something in one of these two that I lose my moving forward or moving back. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to say this guy has to point to here. This guy has to point to there. This guy has to point to here. And this guy has to point up to there, okay? So I just drew four lines. Oh boy. Let me ask you this question, whether you like it or not. What would be the order of that? What would go first? What would go second? What would go third? What would go fourth? So let's say I have a temp pointer right here. And I said, temp pointers, pointers value is actually greater than this. So now I know to insert it, agree? Temp pointers, pointers, that's this line, value is greater than here. So now I need to insert. I should write that down, right? Temp pointers, pointers, value. It's actually greater than new nodes value. So I need to insert it. Anybody want to offer some, uh, some assistance here? Would you change the uh, temp pointers next pointer to point to the uh, node that you're inserting? Let's, let's first of all adjust that. We're going to change that PTR to next. Thank you. We're going to make that next because up here we're going to have prev and next. So when I go and take a look back up here, I'm going to say this is prev and this is next. I'll work with that. That's good. That's common. All right, tell me what you think we should write. And wouldn't you also have the inserted node have uh, the previous pointer point towards the temp pointer? And that's this line right here. That's line number two. So we have line one, line two, line three, and line four. And we're going to have to have a certain order to do those four lines. This we, is new node. Yeah, I think we have to do line four, right? Because we want to... You want to do line four first? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that would be new nodes next. I don't have a whole lot of room to write here. I'm going to put it down here temporarily. New nodes 
next gets the value of the last one. So yeah, that one. Yeah. So what what is this guy right here? Oh, um, ten pointers next. Excellent. I'm gonna actually yeah. move it over. New node next gets a value of temp pointers next. Okay, that's this guy. We've mm -hmm. taken care of number four. So we're gonna call him line number four. All right, now what? Um, now we can do number one, I guess, right? To connect. Okay, yeah. so doing this actually x out that line. We took care of uh, that line, right? Yeah. And then we took care of four, okay? Go ahead. Yeah, so we do from 17 to 20. So you want 10 pointer. 10 pointer to, to uh, new 10. 10 pointer is pointing right here. Yeah, we the want new node. I'm sorry, I'm, in, I'm interrupting and I can't, I can't hear. I'm sorry. Ten pointers. This guy right here, right? Yeah, next. What's, what's he called? Ten pointers. Ten pointers next. Okay. Equals. Equals um, the new node. Good. That took care of number one. All right, next. So we got rid of that and have this pointing to here and this points to here. So far, so good. Uh, this guy has to point to new node and yeah. this guy has to point to temp pointer. But I was thinking, do you have to do between one and four or? Well, yeah. these are two left, number two and number three. Yeah. Which one do you want to do next? Does it matter, the order? I don't know. Go ahead, give me one of them. You want to do number um, two first? Sure, yeah. That would be new nodes prev gets the value of? Um, Temp pointer. Temp pointer. And that was this number two. And then the third one is actually here, which is that guy. Go ahead. So um, temp pointer is next. Mm. Temp pointer is next. next. Equals. Now, third, uh, wait. A little bit more there. Next what, is, next. what is this guy right here? Ten point prev. next prev. Yeah. Uh, next prev. Okay. Get Equals the value of the new node. New node. So yeah, there is a certain order that we want to do these because we could screw it up. And you know that was a lot just to get putting that new node inside of it, right? And again, so does, uh, go ahead. I just have a question. So. Does that uh, last two steps, like, does that matter which one is first one? No. Like, you know, should we put, okay, it doesn't, okay. Nope, 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 they don't affect each other. Okay, so that would be uh, the inside of the little block of the loop as I'm going through searching one at a time. And again, I'm using this idea of temp pointers next val, which was that, if it's greater than my new nodes val, then I need to know, that's when I'm gonna insert it in the middle. Okay, so we had the middle, we had the beginning, um, we have the end. What's going on? How would I know when I reached the end? If... Next, next is going to be no. Yeah, if that temp pointer next is false, then I know I reached the end, I wanna insert it at the end. Would I have to take any consideration um, between the beginning or the end, or um, excuse me, if it's empty. So do I have a fourth choice of empty? 
Well, when I'm starting to look at these algorithms, I need to be thinking about all of these cases. So again, before I get started in doing this with my insert, I'm taking a look at 5, 8, 12, and 15. Uh, what do we want to call them? Where do we want first prev to go? We okay with no? I don't think anybody cares. So we'll make those null. All right. So if I want to insert, if I insert into an empty list, what code would I need? Right. So if there was nothing there, if I wanted to insert a two, that's the beginning. 10, that would be the middle. 17, that would be the end. So before I'd even sit down at a computer, this is the kind of algorithm that I'd have to write. And we already have a little bit of a cheat because we started scratching some things down with this 10 pointers next vowel. And then of course we have all of this down here. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put you in groups right now, because I want you to continue practicing writing pseudocode and I want you all to take care of insert. So it looks like we have 11 people here. Some more showed up. Uh, let's see, Dylan is in fact here. Richie, good morning, you made it. Da -da -da -da. Maria is here. And the only one it looks like we're missing is Mark. All right, so we have, uh, we have 11. And I'm gonna put you in a couple of rooms and I want you to come up with this flow chart. Uh, three rooms enough, three or four people. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Um, did it, did it, did it? Give me one second. And I'm opening rooms. Do you need uh, anything I have real quick? Uh, I think we're good. I'm able to give access to people to draw on the whiteboard, so. Okay. I yeah. didn't know if anybody took a quick picture of what I had, or if you want to try to reinvent the wheel. We're going to reinvent the wheel. Okay. Again, folks. You turn your cameras on, it's, whole, it's a whole lot easier to work with pictures when you can see people. Do y'all need anything off of this page of mine? Beginning, uh, middle, end, what if it's empty? What were some of the pseudocode that we wrote down for inserting in the middle? Right. Do you need any of that or you're good? I think we're good. Okay, awesome. I leave. Dylan okay. did not join this room yet. I'm gonna to have to go find out where he is. Do you need? Oh, okay. Yeah, we were kind of wondering. I have. Uh, uh, yeah. Hold up. Wait. It went away. Uh, let me take a screenshot real quick. Okay. Uh, let me make this bigger because I, I don't think what I'm sharing is. Comrade, you could stop sharing and then Jill Kamar could put it on speaker view. Uh, Jill Kamar. Oh, no, I'm the one. Yeah.